This image convinced millions that the Irish and English were different species. In the 19th century, so-called scientists depicted the Irish as a primitive Iberian race, small, emotional, and almost ape-like, while framing the English as noble, rational, and proudly Germanic. This pseudoscience was used to justify centuries of political domination and prejudice. Ironically, in the early 20th century, Irish nationalists flipped this narrative, embracing the idea of a pure, ancient Celtic race fundamentally distinct from their Saxon neighbors. But what does the modern science of genetics actually say? Are the Irish and English truly separate races, or is their shared history far deeper than the politics of the last few centuries would have us believe? To understand the genetic relationship between Ireland and England, we must go back thousands of years before either nation existed. After the last Ice Age, the British Isles were repopulated by waves of migrants who formed the foundational layer of both populations. The first were Mesolithic Western hunter-gatherers, who arrived around 10,000 BC. Then, around 4,000 BC, Neolithic farmers from Anatolia, the people who built Stonehenge and Newgrange arrived, bringing agriculture and a new genetic signature. These two ancient groups form the deep, shared ancestral bedrock for everyone in the British Isles. The Irish and English both have their deepest roots in the same soil. This is where the popular stories of origin diverge, and where genetics has rewritten the history books. The traditional story for England is one of a massive Anglo-Saxon invasion in the 5th century AD, where Germanic tribes from modern-day Denmark and northern Germany wiped out the native Celtic Britons and replaced them. The story for Ireland is one of isolation, of a pure Celtic people, descending from waves of migration from Central Europe, remaining genetically untouched in their island fortress. But DNA reveals a much more nuanced and fascinating story. Genetic studies of modern English populations and ancient Anglo-Saxon skeletons reveal a shocking truth. The Anglo-Saxon invasion was not a wholesale replacement of the population. The genetic contribution from these dramatic migrants is significant, but it varies dramatically across England. In Eastern England, particularly in areas like East Anglia, the Anglo-Saxon genetic input can be as high as 40%, but as you move west into Cornwall and Wales, that percentage drops to just 10 to 20%. The majority of the English genetic makeup is not Anglo-Saxon, but from the earlier pre-Roman Celtic Britons. The Anglo-Saxons were a powerful elite who imposed their culture and language, but they integrated with rather than replaced the existing population. In Ireland, the genetics tell a story of profound stability, but with ancient, surprising origins. The Irish genome is not a pure Celtic isolate. It is primarily a mix of those original Mesolithic hunter-gatherers and the Neolithic farmers. The biggest surprise? The DNA of the Irish today shows a massive genetic contribution from the Bronze Age, around 2500 BC. This was not a Celtic invasion from Central Europe, but a massive migration from the Pontic Caspian Steppe. These people who brought Indo-European languages to Europe essentially formed the modern Irish population. Later, during the Iron Age, there was indeed an influx from Central Europe, the people we call the Celts, but their genetic impact was much smaller than previously thought. They brought their culture and language, but they did not replace the people. So putting it all together, how different are the Irish and English? Genetically, they are incredibly similar. They share the same deep ancestral layers. The primary difference is one of proportion. The average Irish person has a higher proportion of the ancient Neolithic farmer and Bronze Age steppe ancestry. The average English person has a variable but significant amount of Anglo-Saxon Germanic ancestry, which is largely absent in Ireland. But if you compare a person from Western Ireland with a person from Western Wales or Cornwall, their DNA is almost indistinguishable. The real genetic divide in the British Isles is not between Ireland and England, but between the Celtic fringe, Ireland, Wales, Cornwall, and Western Scotland, 
and the more Germanic East and South of England. The genetic evidence dismantles the toxic racial theories of the 19th century. The Irish and English are not different races. They are close genetic cousins whose histories have been intertwined for millennia. The differences that do exist are the result of later migrations that added new threads to a shared ancient tapestry. The English have a significant Anglo-Saxon thread, the Irish do not, but the underlying fabric, the cloth itself, is the same. Our DNA proves that the political and cultural walls we build are often very thin, standing on a foundation of a shared, deep, and common human past. If you were surprised by the real story of Irish and English DNA, make sure to subscribe to the Footcast. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers, and your support helps us uncover the true stories hidden in our genes. What other historical rivalries should we explore genetically? The French and the Germans? The Spanish and the Portuguese? Let us know in the comments below. Share this video to spread the science, and as always, thanks for watching.